Hey everyone, I'm Luke from Blister, and today we're talking about the Line Blade. So as you can probably see right away, um, the blade is not your typical ski. Um, the thing that makes it stand out the most is its shape. Um, this ski is 95 millimeters underfoot, but it has a 154 millimeter wide tip and 124 millimeter wide tail. So what you get with that, super wide tip, very wide tail, narrow waist, really tight side cut radius. Line actually isn't even saying what the side cut radius is, they're simply calling it tight, which looking at the shape of it seems pretty accurate. So the blade was designed to be a all mountain ski that really excels at carving. Um, again, looking at the side cut makes sense. Uh, it's based somewhat off of line Sakana, which is a bit wider and uses a totally different construction, but similar super wide shovel, narrower waist. One of the big differences with the blade between the Sakana is the blade uses a sheet of metal in its construction. Um, as you can see, there are a lot of cutouts. That metal sheet is actually two parts, one in the front half, one in the back half, and there are cutouts throughout the ski. Uh, talking to Lion's engineers, they said that they wanted some of that damping and torsional rigidity of a tetanol layup, but they used the cutouts to prevent the ski from feeling dead. They still wanted a lot of energy and rebound coming out of a turn, so that's the main goal with what they're calling gas pedal metal. In terms of rocker profile, um, this is another area where the blade stands out. Most skis in that 95 underfoot category do have a notable amount of tip and tail rocker. Um, compared to most skis in its class, the blade has much shallower rocker lines. Uh, it does still have a little tip and tail rocker, and it has a more turned up tail than most directional metal skis in this class. But overall, pretty conservative rocker profile. Um, and honestly, it looks more similar to most narrower carving skis than it does to most all mountain skis in this category. Another way the blade stands out from other directional metal skis is that its mount point is right around minus seven centimeters from true center. Um, it's not as far forward as like a lot of lines freestyle skis, but it's definitely more forward than a lot of the directional skis in this class. And especially if you look at those narrower carvers, um, most of them have mount points in like the minus 10 range. So this is another area where the blade stands out. In terms of flex pattern, uh, this ski, it has a pretty round, almost symmetrical flex pattern. Uh, the shovel and tip are pretty accessible, fairly soft. And then it's a fairly slow and smooth ramp up as you move to the middle of the ski. Um, it is pretty stiff in the middle, but this shovel and the front half feel very accessible. And then it softens up as you move to the tail and the tail doesn't feel that much stiffer than the tip, which is uh, kind of rare for a directional metal laminate ski. Um, we expect that you'll probably be able to bend this whole ski when you're carving it. And a lot of us at Blister tend to like skis with more round uh, symmetrical flex patterns. Um, a lot of times it makes it really intuitive, um, so we'll see if that holds true with the blade. Finally, the weight of this ski, it does have a sheet of metal in it, but not a full sheet. And probably as a result of that, it's coming in fairly average at around 2,030 grams per ski for this 181 centimeter length. Um, there are lots of lighter skis, most of which do not have metal. And there are definitely some heavier skis in this category, um, but overall pretty average in terms of weight and probably the only average thing about this ski. So that is it for the line blade. You can head to blisterreview.com for a full first look, which includes all of our measured specs, our rocker profile pictures, our flex pattern numbers, and how the design of this ski compares to some of the other skis in its class. Uh, I also skied the blade yesterday and posted a flash review with my initial impressions for Blister members, so you can check out that as well. And then in the meantime, stay tuned for our full review.